Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We always love having our next guest join us. She's living her best, honey, her best life, and laughter seems to be the key. Currently out on her It's Time to Tell My Side stand-up tour, please welcome back to the show comedian and actress Tori Hart. Yes! Yes! I was good to see you, Bubba Chong. Yes, yes. Have a seat. Yes, shoes. I don't know. We, I need, know. we need a shoe cam here. I for know. Real. We need because, to you know, I, I, I did the cuteness with my shoes too. Yes. yes. Sparkle, shimmy, shake, yes. glam. Those look good. Thank you. All right. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. And you're on tour. It's time to tell my side. Mm -hmm. Yes. What is your side, and how has it been therapeutic for you? Ooh. Okay. Okay. So. We got. We only got a few. Oh, we don't. Listen, listen. <laughs> well, of course it's therapeutic because laughing is always therapeutic. Yeah. And of course, you know, just telling my side. For some reason, people out there sometimes think I'm a little crazy. Mm hmm You know, but and, and mildly so. You know, I, I could be just a tad bit. Just a little. But when you have that fire, sometimes you do get a little crazy. Yeah. You yes. understand what I'm saying? Yes, absolutely. Uh, but just telling that part, just telling how it is raising kids. Mm. Mm -hmm. From being with a super famous celebrity, you know, mm -hmm. I, I knew I was going to have my kids and raise them, but I didn't know I was going to be raising two little rich white kids, if you understand what I'm saying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's how it feels sometimes. Really? Oh, oh yeah. Just the privilege just because they yeah. are so... They're, they're so privileged, you understand? And, and here's another thing, you know, I'm not that privileged because, you know, he blew up after the divorce. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so sometimes I feel like I'm uh, Viola Davis and the help, like... Oh, no, uh, oh, no. Yeah, like, Heaven Hendrix, can I get you some water? Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, wow! Yeah, yeah. but um, but it's it, it's it's a difference. Yes. It is. It is. So you know, just telling my side on how it is oh. being the ex-wife of this super big. Celebrity. Right. And for those yes. who don't know, because we're implying, we have not said his name. Oh yes, Kevin Hart. Yes. 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 <laughs> well, you know, speaking of your children, you mm -hmm. know, um, Kevin used to, or he still does, talk about the children. You know, mm -hmm. in a lot of his stand-up sketches. Yes. And. Are you gonna follow suit and do that? And how do they feel about it now that they're getting older? Yeah. Well, I do talk about my kids. Mm. I don't go to the extreme that he does. Um, but I, I definitely do talk about them and they're okay with it, you know? Mm. And if they weren't okay with it, too bad. You yeah. Know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's just jokes, kids. They'll be fine. They'll yeah. be over it, you know what I mean? <laughs> but um, I'm basically talking about my life after being married to him and also just, you know, addressing some other things that happened in the marriage and then talking about my dating life as well, you yeah. know? So I, I touch on a few life. things and, and healing and the things that I did to heal. Mm -hmm. So I touch on about four different aspects. Yeah, yes. that's good. That's yeah. good. Well, we're going to stay on the kid track. I have two daughters. Okay. Uh, one is 12. Okay. And you and heaven just turned fourteen. Fourteen. Ooh, so man, how, how, right? Help. You oh. know, uh, <laughs> tell me about how how your Listen. relationship with heaven is, and and how can you impart some knowledge on folks that have a tween coming okay. into the fourteen? Wake up every day and pray. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you straight up. Wake up every day and pray, and then you know I keep sage in the house. Yes. Oh, you yes, know, uh, for her yes, because uh, you know teenage girls they they going through a whole lot. Yes. You know, it's some days she's mom, I love you, and then some days I just be like, listen, yes. okay, let me get my sage. Mm -hmm. Let me get my sage, and she knows when I pull the sage out because you know it's, it's an ongoing thing with us. You know, I be Ooh. like, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Is she so, a teenager? She's not me, but she's just, she's a little spoiled. She's okay. And it's my okay. fault. Yeah. I mean, you know, you can't beat kids like you used to be able to beat them back in you the day. You sure can, because they have you all know? these rules and, and right. rights that we didn't have growing up. Right. But you know, I got beat. Yeah. I did too. And I turned out okay. Yeah. Okay, but I can't, they pick up the phone. They, they don't even have to pick up the phone no more. They just hit that on, on their cell phone, the emergency slide it up. Yeah. I'm like, like, call them. Call right. them if you want to. Yeah, right. man. Call them. But you know, the good thing about it is you and Kevin are like hashtag goals. Yeah. When it comes to co-parenting, yes. how how is it for you guys? How did you guys get to that point where you actually could be good parents together for mm -hmm. your kids? Well, I made a conscious decision to always put the kids first. Absolutely. Even when, I mean, we could literally just be in an argument because let's face it, there's ups and downs in every relationship. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as soon as it's about the kids, though, I'd be like, okay, listen, let's get it together because we want our kids to be happy, healthy, productive kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. it. And if you're not on the same page with that, then the kids will suffer, and I just don't want my kids to be suffering. Yeah. It's that right. simple. So, yeah. I have two husbands, so I get it. But, Tori, <laughs> I, I mean, we thank you so much. So much 
for being with us today. She's at the Uptown Comedy Corner tonight yes. through Sunday. Yes. And for those of you who are staying with us for the full hour, she's coming to the table next with ah. us. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Tori Hart came on down to the table for some more girl talk. Let's talk more about you. You yes. know, uh, let's talk about um, your BET show, Games People Play. You have a recurring role. Tell us about your role on that show. Oh, wow. Well, I play Miss Hawthorne. Okay, okay. Miss Hawthorne. Hawthorne. I, and I'm the first lady of a church. Oh, oh yes, I am. Okay, the first lady of a church, but uh, my husband's a cheater. Uh, Jebediah <coughs> Hawthorne. Yeah, he mm -hmm. is. So I'm basically trying to save my church and mm -hmm. let the congregation no, listen, we still need those dollars to come in to keep this God's work going. I yes, mean, it's, yes. It's, it's a great role for me. I grew up in the church, um, so, I mean, I wasn't first lady, but, you know. <laughs> but you saw it, the it, first lady. Yes, yeah. I did. I saw what happened with mm -hmm. that, but it, it was a fun role for me to play. Right, and Lauren London's in this show as yes. well, and mm -hmm. of course, uh, we all have talked about the passing of Nipsey Hussle. Have yes. you spoken to her? How she's doing? How she's how she wow. doing? Um, yeah. I have not spoken okay. to her after I was with her a week before everything happened. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I was God. shooting, mm -hmm. and you know we were just talking about the GQ spread and mm -hmm. how wonderful it was, mm, and you yes. know yeah. So I mean it it really did hit me hard. I went right. down to the memorial and everything, and the energy down there is just like. We really didn't see how big he was mm -hmm. until after his passing, mm -hmm. which is really sad. Mm -hmm. But he was doing a lot of great things for the yeah, community. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, Tori, we talk a lot about strong women and being mm -hmm. strong, particularly strong black women. Yeah. Uh, you went through a very public divorce. Mm -hmm. So as I. Yeah. Um, but we, we as strong women, sometimes we need support. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the key to being a strong woman, yet still asking for support mm -hmm. from her friends That's or family? Good. That's good. Well, I think sometimes it's okay to be weak. Mm -hmm. Come on, That's how you can be strong. Yes. Because, uh, you know, I grew up with a lot of strong black women. Mm -hmm. And some days I was like, I don't feel like being no strong black woman. Like, I want to be weak <laughs> and vulnerable. Yes. You know, like, somebody yes. come rescue me. Take That's care of me. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So. I think it is okay to be weak and ask for help because yes. if you always so strong, everybody's looking at you like, well, they got it. So they don't really reach out to help mm -hmm. you. So mm -hmm. I did notice when I did have a breakdown and really started reaching out to people, that's when I noticed the people who were in my corner who really came to help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's okay to be weak. It is. Mm -hmm. I it don't is. like the word weak, Tori. I like vulnerability. But that, well, you yeah, know, vulnerable, like, yeah. yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. It, it, it's just weak. It's just like you just weak. don't Listen, have nothing I don't even, in you. Quite, I don't even but so, care. But sometimes, sometimes you don't. You don't. I, yeah. just, like, <laughs> right. I was like, listen, yeah, man. help me, okay? That's crazy. Oh, so I don't want to do it today. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes you rhyme slow, sometimes you rhyme yeah. quick. Right. That's true. Yeah. That's, That's true. That's one of those things. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you wear a lot of hats. Yes. You're a comedian. Yeah. You're an actress. You're a businesswoman. Yes. But how, how does it feel for you now at this point in your mm. life mm. to be able to reinvent yourself? Mm. It's the way fun. you want to be. It's so fun. Yeah. Well, because a lot of people don't realize who I was just because I was in the background. I was taking a break. I was raising kids mm -hmm. for the first 10 years, mm -hmm. you know, but I was always training, been training, doing everything. So now it's like, you know, not even reinventing myself necessarily, but just them getting to see the You're real presenting yourself. Right. Yeah. yeah, but I've always been here. Mm -hmm. Always. Yeah. All right now. Yeah. What about? I'm talking about. <clears throat> The female comedy, mm -hmm. because first of all, just being a woman in general is off, off the chain. Right. <laughs> you know, we just sitting at this table off the chain. Right. <laughs> so to be able to have to go on a stage and do stand up yeah. and be a comedian and really establish establish yourself in in television and on stage as a comedian is really hard for anyone. Yeah. Um, for you, for your walk, what has been the most difficult thing, especially kind of being synonymous to another comedian mm -hmm. that you were once married to that is so big, you right. know? What has that journey been like for you? Well, I would have to say it's a gift and a curse. Mm -hmm. You know, number one, just because, you know, the, the gift is, is that he started before me and I was able to watch and, and learn a Good, lot. Tori. You know, he was Good. he was my mentor Good, in a sense. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate him for that. 
Now, the curse, though, is that people compare us all the time. Yeah, I'm sure. And since we are in such a close industry, some people feel like, oh, I can't work with her because he might get mad. I'm uh, like, uh, he ain't gonna oh, work with you cool. any god darn way. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you might wanna think about, you what? know, stepping back. Like, he ain't gonna work with you. You know he's way up here and you still like, come on, forget about it. Okay, <laughs> let, me, let me let you know that. So I would have to, you know, say that that probably would be one thing. And then they expect us to tell the same types of jokes. And I'm like, no, I'm Tori. Yeah. Uh, this is what you're going to get. It's time to tell my side. You're going to get the Tory Hart show. Yes. I'm not right. Kevin. So All right now, Tori. Right. Yeah. That's good. So, you know, we're coming up on Memorial Day. Yes, okay. God. And everybody loves a cookout. Yes. So, we're going to play a little <laughs> game with you. It's called, mm -hmm. Who's Invited? To the cookout. Okay, oh, so we're yeah. trying to get so it. So we're going to show, okay. show you some pictures. Okay. And we're going to, you're going to tell us who's invited. Okay. And if they are <laughs> or not. Well, okay. I, okay. 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 So All first right. one. Who, Who we got? Say? Kim K and Kanye. Oh, they invited. <laughs> why, why, why are they invited? Because, first of all, they're going to be good entertainment. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> I'm going to make Kanye rap. I'm going to have Kim model by with the balloon butt. And we going right. to just be like, okay, pop it, pop it, pop it. Right, right. Um, I don't know. But I, I kind of, I, I like Kim and Kanye, yeah, actually. Okay. I mean, I whatever. They, all right. You know. Okay. Yeah. Selena, who, you got? who you got, Selena? Uh, Gary Owens. Mm. Oh, come on. Y'all know he now you invited. Know he invited them. Yeah. He got a black wife. <laughs> <laughs> what you got, Rashi? What you got? I got Drizzy Drake. Oh, 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 oh that's right. Um, he you invited to the cookout, to the house. You can come with that effort. Yes. All right, all right let's uh, release. What you got, Quasi Dash? dash. Uh-uh, she no. can't come. Why say she can't come? Okay, okay, I'm going to be messy. Kevin. <laughs> As oh. uh, long as he paying for it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I like that. Yes. Well, Tori, thank you so much for being with us today. This was definitely a fun time. Be sure and catch her at the Uptown Comedy Corner this weekend yes. if you're in the Atlanta area. Yes. Come on now. Come out. Can we give it up for the one and only Tori Hall? Yes.